We caught another horse-mounted patrol. We saw them in the distance and decided to set up a trap. Avery got to be the damsel in distress and managed to attract the group over while we lay in wait around some waist-high grass. Just as they get in close, I make the horses flip the fuck out and dump their riders. Then we pounced. We captured two of the four alive. We're not exactly out here to take prisoners, and Avery won't let us just execute them. So, we set them loose after making them a sure drain on resources. Jason removed their thumbs, and Avery healed the wounds closed. I purged their memories of us, of what happened. Though I made one of them believe that they devoured their two compatriots and their missing digits over the course of the night. Not sure how that'll bake in, but it's sure to cause some chaos. In the meantime, we're back in our dungeon base, trying to figure out a more permanent solution to enemy captives, since we don't have the resources for a POW camp. Our loot for the day, some more gear, namely more arrows, spears, and javelins. We would have taken the horses, but we can't really house or feed them, which is a shame. It's also a shame that none of us were any good with bows. Even when Marcus tried taking up one, he never could hit a damn thing with it. Well, we have lots of arrows to practice with. Maybe we'll set up a firing range deeper in the crypt. <laughs>